If you are in the US now, uh, you will see that many people look like Cyclops. What's scary uh, is that I can almost confirm by next year, we will all look like them as well. Eh. So, so, uh, so, before anything, let's talk about VR headsets, because they are actually something very new and yet not so new. You see, back in 2014, which is just 10 years ago, uh, Google released this. You can kind of call it the first VR headset. Uh. How it works is simple, you put a phone inside it and then you will become a VR headset. It was considered a success, and then uh, VR headsets started to slowly but surely took place. The main company that works on headsets uh, is Meta. In fact, Meta, previously known as Facebook, uh, was so obsessed with VR, which is also known as AR, uh, that they changed their name to reflect their new direction, going the Meta world, whereby work and play will be in a new virtual world called Metaverse. Basically, Mark Zuckerberg went crazy obsessed with that. Uh. Even buying VR companies, uh, but remember, uh, remember, his goal is to create a virtual reality where people work and play. Elsewhere, uh, other tech companies also work on VR headsets, primarily for games. In the commercial world, uh, VR headsets were also created for specific purposes, like for surgeons to train their surgery skills or soldiers to train their soldiering skills. Yeah, I think uh, it's a matter of time uh, before BMT uh, is TFH, uh, train from home. <laughs> But in October last year, Meta came out with the Meta Quest 3, which kind of didn't just focus on games or the metaverse. Ah. Cause I think ah, Mark Zuckerberg ah, finally realized no one cares about a metaverse. Ah. <laughs> what the heck is a metaverse? <laughs> can eat one. Other than playing games, ah, you can kind of do more things. Ah. By then, ah, we all know that Apple is going to come out with a VR headset. Ah. But here's the thing. Apple, ah, obviously, ah, want it to be something that can be used not just by gamers, soldiers, or surgeons. Ah. They want idiots ah, who are willing to play a lot. FBI, open up! They want people like you and me. So, their VR headset, which they don't want it to be called a VR headset because it's Apple, ma, their job uh, isn't to come up with new technology but to come up with new names. Uh. <laughs> it's called computing. Basically, uh, it's like, you know, the dead Google Glass? Yeah, it's like a super upgraded version of it. Uh. It's now meant for everyday use and upgrading your life with it. Basically, uh, when you wear the Apple Vision Pro, uh, you look like you are in an Iron Man suit. Uh. Apps will be available in front of you, which means uh, as you sit in your laptop with an Excel file in front of you, uh, you can actually be watching a movie without anyone. Doing, eh. And uh, you can just step on air to control everything. It's scarily high tech, eh. Cause uh, it's like you have just become one uh, with a computer. Now it's a matter of time uh, before someone uh, just implant a computer into our brain. And if that really happens, uh, we are all doomed. Uh, uh, you want mask? The price uh, is also scarily high uh, at USD $3,499. Currently, it's only available in the US, but they will be released to more countries this year. So far, as of now of this recording, uh, people have all gone quite gaga with it. Uh. But then again, it's Apple. Apple fanboys will go gaga with anything that's Apple related one. <laughs> so, why do I say that the world will change even when I have not used it? Simple. History has proven that. You see, the world of computers changed when Apple came out with Lisa and Mac. And now, we are all using computers with colorful screens. The world of smartphones changed when Apple came out with iPhone. And now, we are all using smartphones. The world of tablets changed when Apple came out with the iPad. And now, we are all using tablets. Now, this happened even when Apple wasn't the first one that came out with the new technology. But as you all know, they can market anything so well, they can even sell a coma to Uncle Raymond. So, now that Apple has finally come up with a new product that's set to change the world, you can bet that soon, we'll all become Cyclops. And as for the crazy price, don't worry. Meta Quest 3 is less than USD $500, so don't need to worry about the prices stopping the change. Instead, our main concern should be this. Will we all soon be headset fish soon? You can download our app to read more, and also subscribe and watch this video to be slightly smarter. Also, if you're watching this in 2025, how do I go with VR?